So he's sitting there and he asks me, if there's no God, why was I born? He tells me he's got no purpose. And how'd you answer him? I told him it cost about 150 grand to bring him up so far, so if he's got no purpose, I want a fucking refund. Are you angry with Anthony Jr. about the car? They can't put shit back on the donkey. Boys will be boys. It's this other crap. I mean, that's not normal. Adolescence angst is very normal. You never went through it? Oh, you think my mother and father are gonna stand for that shit? How is your mother? She's dead to me. And how's Anthony Jr. been taking it? What? About the family? About your non-relationship with his grandmother. How's he supposed to understand that? And in general, the whole strain of the current atmosphere in your household. But that don't give him the right to mouth off. Sounds to me like Anthony Jr. may have stumbled onto existentialism. Fucking internet. No, no, no. It's a European philosophy. After World War II, People were disillusioned by the sheer weight of the horrors. And that's when the whole idea took root, that there were no absolute truths. You believe that? In your family, even motherhood is up for debate. No, it's not. I teach him to love and respect and appreciate his mother. What about your mother? <sighs> Anthony, I think it's important we talk about your mother and what she tried to do to you. Don't need to. She showed her true colors, that's all. Has Anthony Jr. heard you say she's dead to me? I don't know. Well, don't you think that that kind of talk could lead a kid to embrace these ideas? Oh, so now this is my fault. No. When some people first realize that they're solely responsible for their decisions, actions, and beliefs, and that death lies at the end of every road, they can be overcome with intense dread. Intense dread? A dull, aching anger that leads them to conclude that the only absolute truth is death. I think the kid's onto something. <laughs>